Well, hello everyone. Welcome to another DevRel video by yours truly. Now I'm super stoked as usual for today's video because we're going over the newest features of Atlas. And what is Atlas? Well, it's WP Engines, my company's headless WordPress hosting platform, giving you Node and a WordPress install all in one. Now that gets me jam stoked. The features in this tutorial today are deployment previews, whoa, and webhooks. Let's get right to it. Now here's a little modern developer workflow slide and modern web developers using a Git based approach to development expect certain features and functionality on their hosting platforms, especially ones that support their CI CD, which is continuous integration and continuous delivery workflows. Now in the past, hosting platforms only allowed you to deploy sites to the same URL every time you pushed a change. Now, if you wanted to test changes before making them live on your production site, you had to manually create new sites or environments with new URLs to preview those changes. For example, in some workflows, you may have testing or staging branches tied to specific environments and committing those branches could help you automatically preview your changes before merging them into production. Now, you can still do this with Atlas environments with this GitFlow strategy. It could be too rigid though for some teams or conflict with other philosophies on repo management. Now, luckily, the Atlas platform now has a solution for this issue that makes CI CD less tedious and more flexible to implement, which are these deployment previews. So I gotta tell y'all, when the Atlas team announced that they were gonna add deployment previews to the platform, it got me super jam stoked to have this because what this allows you to do and your team is to see changes on your site without having to deploy them to your production site and without having to create a dedicated testing branch or environment. Now the value is huge for modern developers and their workflow because it's a less tedious, quicker way to enable better productivity. So as a developer, this helps you achieve constant collaboration and iteration for a quicker ship more and ship fast flow. Okay, so let's get into the nitty gritty on how they work. So essentially the idea is deployment previews work by deploying every pull request from your GitHub repo to a specific preview environment with its own URL, logging and tools in relation to the feature branch you created. Now this isolates each branch you make from your main production branch without having to manually spin up entirely new site environments. Now, if that doesn't get you jam stoked, I don't know what will. So then you and your team can view the unique URL to see how these changes look before they are merged into production and deployed. So let's go ahead and see how this is set up in Atlas and how this all works together. So I'm in my Atlas account here on my WP Engine platform. And within the Atlas main page, I have all a list of the apps and my environments running. Now, I'm gonna just use this buddy run um, environment right here. So we're gonna click on the link to it to get to the main page of this um, application. And within this, it tells us everything within this main app with our domains, our builds, our environment variables, etc. Now, what we're gonna wanna do to set up pre uh, deployment previews is go to settings and then click on the link this will bring us to the main settings page and you will see a pane here called preview environments and there is a toggle button and you simply click that and it's on. That's all you have to do to turn on deployment previews on the Atlas uh, platform. Stoked. Okay, now we need to jump over into the code. Okay, now I'm in my terminal here and we have a Next.js project connected to a GitHub repository already. And what we're gonna wanna do is create a feature branch out of this in order to get a deployment preview link. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to create a feature branch and we are going to call it, let's just call it feature preview. Whoops, I can spell. <laughs> okay, now we're switched there. I'm gonna open that in code. And then let me close this file out. And we're just gonna use the uh, 
next uh, file based routing here within the pages directory. So I'm going to drop in and let's call this one feature.js. And then I'm just going to get a simple React component to render some HTML on the page. Okay, so great. We've made a change in our code. Now let's go ahead and push this into GitHub and create a pull request off this feature branch. So I'm going to git add uh, and then git commit this. Added branch change. Now we're going to get push. I always forget the command to set up. It's git push dash dash set upstream origin. Whoops. Preview. Okay. Now that we've created a feature test branch on our code, and we pushed it upstream to create a pull request in our GitHub repository. Let's go over back to the browser and into my GitHub here. And there we can see that we have a feature preview that we pushed for a pull request. So let's go ahead and create that pull request here. So as I created this pull request, as you can see, there's the Atlas environment that's starting to build the code within this feature branch so that it'll give you a deployment preview environment and that URL. So let's go ahead and see what the details look like. Awesome. So within one click, it brings us back into the Atlas platform and the UI and it's going to show our logs of what's going on in our build right here for this deployment preview. Now it's a successful build. And then let's go over to the link to get to this preview environment feature preview page. And now we are waiting for our code to build here. And as, as soon as it builds right here, we should be able to access a preview environment link right here. All right, we got that drop down alert that our app is now live. And all we have to do is go to this preview environment URL, click that, and let's see if that change really reflected on this unique deployment preview URL. So we called it, what did we call it again? Let me go back to code. Feature. Okay, let's go back to the browser. And there you have it. We have a feature page with the feature word there coming up as HTML. Awesome. Now, as you iterate and develop your site, you can continuously push multiple changes, check out multiple branches, and share these URLs for collaboration and feedback in turn exponentially increasing overall developer and team productivity. And under the hood, Atlas keeps up with your feature branch changes, builds the environment, and provides the unique URL, and it's that simple. Now, don't worry, because at the end of this video, I'll leave the links behind in this YouTube tutorial. Now, let's go over and try webhooks. All right, jumping back into my Atlas account on WP Engine, let's focus on webhooks. Now, the modern Git-based workflow gets me super jam stoked because it enables quick, continuous, streamlined workflows with all the things expected to be connected one thing, once things are spun up and pushed into your repository. So oftentimes, there are teams of content creators or other technical or non-technical stakeholders who are not immersed in the Git-based flow but they still need a way to push changes from the WordPress CMS to the front end of their headless site. So like, for example, right, if a site is using pure static site generation, a content editor may want to rebuild a particular post or page whenever they update the resource in WordPress. So that's where webhooks come in. And what is a webhook, right? So now a webhook is an HTTP based 
callback function that allows lightweight event-driven communication between two APIs. So in this case, the WP Engine Atlas platform features webhooks that allow users to trigger an environment rebuild from an event created by WordPress. So let's see how this is set up and done. So simply, I'm back in the Atlas um, UI here within my WP Engine account, and I'm going to go back to use this same application, the buddy-run. We're gonna to go to main, and within the settings link again to the settings page, you have another pane down here, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna create an environment webhook. So simply push the purple button there, and the webhook is created. Now what this does is it generates a webhook URL that we're gonna have to copy and save with this button right here. So let's go ahead and copy that environment webhook. Next step, let's go to into our WP admin. Now we're gonna go back to main here, and what's great about the Atlas platform is there's links within your node environment here and the WordPress install, so all we have to do is look for the WordPress install here that's connected right up in here and link to that. And then once we're in the WordPress side of things, we can click into WP Admin with the one-click flow that WP Engine has. Now we're in the WP Admin dashboard. So the thing that we're gonna need to do to set up this URL that we generated from Atlas is to install a plugin within our WP Admin environment. You can use any plugin you like, um, in this case, I'm gonna use WP Webhooks. So let's go ahead and do that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to Plugins, okay? And then we're gonna add new. And let's go ahead and search for WP Web Hooks. So it should be the first one you see. We're going to install that now. I'm going to activate that. And there we have the WP Webhooks plugin installed in WordPress. So let's go ahead and configure our URL that we just created with Atlas into WP Webhooks so that we can trigger on action a rebuild from WordPress. Now we just have to go into settings here and within the settings option you're going to have a drop down side menu and now you will notice that you have a WP webhooks option right here. Click on that and in this case we want to send data via a post request to the Atlas platform when the webhook is triggered so we're going to click on send data And let's go ahead, you have um, the actions here that um, triggers the webhook. And let's just do something simple for this one where let's go ahead when a new post is created. So there you go. In the right hand side pane, it says post created. Now, all we have to do is click the orange button that says add webhook URL. And then let's just call this post created and then this is where we're going to embed the atlas url that we generated from the front end of the platform and then we're just going to simply add for post create and there we have it now every time within wp admin i create a new post it's going to trigger a rebuild on atlas stoked so let's try it. So I'm gonna go into post, and then let's add a new post. And let's call it testing new web hooks atlas. This is the Jam stoked feature. All right, go ahead and hit publish. 
Now let's jump back into our Atlas account here and see what it caused. Now, as you can see, it's triggered a rebuild within the main production environment of my site. Now, after the code builds, let's go ahead and check the URL to see that the changes were actually reflected. Let's go ahead and hit this URL here. And there it is, live on the URL from an action triggered from the WordPress admin via the Alice webhook. We have our testing new webhooks Atlas post, which we created. And there is the dynamic route to the post detail page. Jam stoked. Now these two features are table stakes that modern Jamstack decoupled hosting platforms should have. The addition of these features to the Atlas platform will improve your modern web dev workflow across all your teams and stakeholders. Now stay tuned for more Atlas features to come. And as always, let me know your feedbacks, thoughts, and ideas in our Discord channel. And again, I will leave all the documentation and links necessary within this YouTube page. Until next time, happy coding.